Are you afraid of anything uncomfortable being said or asked? I am a little. I'll call him like 200 times. Why are you not answering your phone? Where you at? She's waiting to find something. If you're saved and he's not, it's not going to work. That's light with darkness. Who told you that you were Princess Diana? I'm not Princess Diana, but I'm Princess Sheba. I still want your phone password. It's okay. a control thing. You still have to trust the man if you want to bury him. It's about me and you at the end of the day. But do you think you're ready to get married? Yeah, driving up these mountains, though. Definitely got my head spinning a little bit. <laughs> my name is Alexis. And my name's Danley. And, and we're, we're engaged. We first started dating back in 2011. I met him at the Motor Vehicles. <laughs> I thought he looked good. <laughs> I mean, they say if you see something, go after what you want, and that's what I did. Mm, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> we dated for a little while, and then... He uh, broke up with me. Wow. Because I was insecure and crazy. And I would call 100 times a day, whatever. We never really stopped communication with each other. And then in 2015, we got back together. 2017, we ended up getting engaged. And it's just been great ever since. I'm looking forward to understanding your family. I want us to become stronger, have stronger bond, better communication. My family, they don't know if we're ready, because we're, we're very young. I'm 25, he's 27, so. They were kind of like, it's kind of early for you to get married. Are you going to be committed to this woman? My family, they don't feel like he's the one for me. Oh, chills. Are you afraid of anything uncomfortable being said or asked? I am a little. Your grandmother kind of, I see where you get the mouth from. I do want her family to at least be comfortable with the fact that we're getting married. If I didn't get my grandma's blessing, then that will hurt me very deeply. Because me and my grandma are very close. I hope our families enjoy this experience and hopefully this puts them in a relaxed state of mind. I mean, if, if this ain't gonna do it, then honestly, what is? This is Dang. so nice. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Welcome. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Tracy. Nice Hi, you. guys. How you doing? This is your new house. All right, here we go. Oh. This is so beautiful. Wow. Do you guys play piano? No. She sings, though. But I do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I feel like Tracy's really going to dig in deep. I feel like she's going to get in our innermost guts and <laughs> try to figure us out. And that makes me a little nervous. I just hope she takes it easy on you. And me, both of us. Welcome. And congratulations Thank on you. your engagement. Thank it's a you. huge, huge life step. It's not just the two of you getting married. You're mm -hmm. kind of putting these two families yeah. together. It's like that ring changes the whole game. It does. It's like once we told him we're engaged, it was like, like, wait, what? You got some resistance. Yes. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, definitely we're going to get resistance. into that. But why didn't you tell me how you met? We met at the DMV. We went out a few dates before he asked me, you know, you want to be my girlfriend. Mind you, this is my first boyfriend that I ever had in my life. Due to my insecurities, I kind of ran him away. Tell me what you mean by insecurities. I'll call him like 200 times. Mm. And I'll sit there and just call, why are you not answering your phone? Where you at? Is that an issue between the two of you? Because I got women sitting on this couch who go through a phone and like there's yeah, He has all my passwords. I'd be like, oh, so-and-so <laughs> hit you up. You want to respond or you want me to respond? OK. I just, you know, wake up, say my prayers, get ready for work, and, you know, get a coffee or tea, sit at my desk, and go through the social medias. <laughs> And you guys are okay with this? Um, I mean, it has I, don't have, I have nothing to hide. It's almost like she's waiting to find something, but there's literally been nothing. All right, so let's get into these families. Alexis, you start by telling me who's coming from your side of the family. Mm -hmm. My mother, Vanita's coming, my grandmother, awesome. Mary's coming, and my uncle Shannon are coming. Grandma is the one that saw that the cultural differences, it does make a difference. It makes a big difference. He's from you know, Haitian yeah. descent. They expect a woman to behave differently, I think. You think so? Oh, yeah, I definitely know it. My grandmother feels Danley's not equally yoked for me spiritually. My grandma's been a pastor ever since I was a little girl. Him being of the Catholic tradition, it's a little different because they don't say their prayers every day like I do. I'm Haitian. It's a different type of culture, you know? It's a work in progress. My mother, she's coming because she doesn't think me and Danley are really mature enough to get married. My uncle is more of, is he a man that could be a provider? Okay. They don't dislike him, they just don't feel like he's right for me. 
All right, Danley, why don't you tell me who's coming? I have my cousin Tiffany, my good friend Raynell, and I also have my best friend Chanel. I'm excited to see my boy Dan. I just feel like both are just in over their heads. My best friend Chanel wants me to, you know, be, I think like him, honestly, like single and just playing the field. My friend Raynell, she kind of doesn't trust Alexis. Tiffany's issue is she wants me to be with somebody that's, you know, Haitian or at least open to the Haitian culture. She feels like Alexis is, you know, like a little bratty. Really? I you don't want to celebrate and know him like this? I mean, I do with, like, you know, my family, they're more like, uh, you know, I don't know what that means. Like, they're more like, <laughs> Just they're not it. with the culture. OK, so, so your family's like... not with the culture. So mm -hmm. it feels like if you get with the culture, maybe you're betraying your family somehow. Or maybe I sometimes feel like I hold my own self back by listening to other people. OK, mm -hmm. good to know. The lay of the land for the next three days is this. Your families are on their way. I have some tasks for you that are going to help bring about the healing. On day three, you'll ask for the blessings, and the goal is to get six blessings. Alexis, you're gonna be cooking dinner with Danley's family. Some of the dishes you're cooking are gonna be Haitian. You're not just gonna be cooking dinner, you're gonna be answering questions. And you can even ask a few questions of your own, like anything you can do to show interest in Haitian culture, I think mm -hmm. is gonna go a long way mm -hmm. toward getting this blessing. Danley, your task is to play a game called Tower of Truth. Because okay. Alexis's family doesn't really know you, the whole okay. point is to start to break down some of these barriers mm -hmm. and get the issues out. Yo, your family's about to tear me apart. Your family, they get to ask me all the questions they want during this lovely festivity of cooking. You better answer them. So as long as they're nice to me, I'll be nice to them. Try hard. We'll see what happens. Dang, when do you think your, your mom and grandmother go get here? I think they're gonna be surprised, and I'm pretty sure they'll be excited to see you. That's the hope, obviously. That's the hope, that's the dream. Well, you know, it's not my mom or my uncle, it's morely my grandmother, but she'll be okay, she'll get better. <laughs> or will she? Anita? Ma. You think that she would help her mother? No, yeah, she right? probably should have, but she, she didn't. She don't think. How are you, sweehearts? Hello, Miss Benita. How's it going? Did you have a good flight? Yes, I'm just out. It was good, it was good. Hey, baby. How you doing? It's okay if you could have gave me a little genuine one day. I got How you doing? I'm good, yourself? I'm good, good. Alexis and Dan Lee's relationship is a fun, loving relationship. However, there's major things that will cause major problems the years to come. Did you pray? Did you say your prayers before you yes left I home? Did. Yes, I no, did. No, no, no. You believe? <laughs> and I read my Bible this morning. No, 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 no. Did you pray before you yes. left? Okay, very good. I hope that we're still friends when we leave here. Oh, why don't we be? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're not ready for marriage. Not only is it a cultural difference, he has to be saved. If Danley wasn't saved, the children would not be blessed. And I'm just calling a spade what it is. I gotta cook mm -hmm. some Haitian food. Hey, Excuse me? You could just about do American, baby. My grandmother, she's old school. If she feels a way, it's gonna stick that way. And him being of Catholic religion and I'm being of Christianity, she feels that we believe in two different things. The Bibles are different. Everything in the church is totally different. This is gonna be an adventure. <laughs> I'd like oh to see gosh. this. <laughs> What's up, my guy? Welcome to my, everything my everything humble home. You looking nice. Bonjour. 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 Hey, family. Reverend Mary. Hey. My best friend, Chanel. You? Alexis, she's like really bossy. If it's not her way, then it's no one's way. Mom, this is Daly's cousin, <laughs> Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. It doesn't matter who he dates as long as she is good to him. And I feel like she doesn't understand so where that would fit. I want to thank both of our families for being on this journey with me and Danley. You know, both of our families have issues and concerns, and we want you guys to express them. So we're going to start with my family. Uncle Shannon, what are your issues and concerns? One is being insecure. 
when you worried about what he's doing or you worried about what she's doing. So you have to take those insecurities and put them to the side. Mm. Mommy, what are your issues or concerns? Oh God, I have a few, um, one of which is the cultural differences. I know that the Haitian culture believe that a woman, she does 90% of the housework and, and also responsible for the children. That's gonna be a big problem, I know with you, because I know you. <laughs> um, also, <laughs> I do want my daughter to be with someone that's gonna help provide for her, someone that's gonna add quality to her life. I don't see that right now. Grandma, what are your issues or concerns? I'm concerned about the soul. That's what it's all about. God must be head of your life. If you're saved and he's not, it's not gonna work. That's light with darkness. They have nothing in common. If he wanna cheat, you can have all the passwords in the world and he will make that thing happen. I don't care, I still want your phone password. But you're not gonna trust me regardless. I'm telling you what I said. And you're not about to be yelling control. at me like in your bed and you tell me. You're betraying me to be like, I'm some stalker type of girlfriend. I'm not doing anything. You are literally doing this to yourself and everybody is finally seeing it. Grandma, what are your issues or concerns? I'm concerned about the soul. That's what it's all about. God must be head of your life. If you're saved and he's not, it's not gonna work. That's light with darkness. They have nothing in common. He's from a different culture. The Haitians, they come from a wicked background. And I do believe that Danley need to become saved before you get married. Your heart has to be changed. You can't call a whole group of people evil or wicked. Voodoo, they do voodoo. It's literally a small percentage, and if you do your homework, you wouldn't know that. What's the deal with them talking about Haitians come from a wicked background? Like, who says that? I think it was disrespectful. That's not understanding the culture. My side, you guys have some issues and concerns that you guys also want to put on the table. Let's start with you, Tiffany. I feel like my cousin Danley has lost his voice and his relationship. You out-talk him, and you don't give him a chance to express himself. And I feel like if you marry right now, you would not last longer than a few months. He does tend to get jealous and upset because he feels like you're hiding things from him, you're talking to other guys, and you are pretty. Text messages and things like that, or phone calls. She'll be kind of like secretive, she'll go to another room, she'll be like, oh, this is just my friend. Deleting text is um, suspect to me. If you're getting texts from men and you don't have anything to hide, why can't he see it before you delete it? You want to trust him and he wants to trust you, that has to start somewhere. And lastly, Chanel. My biggest concern is the bossiness with Alexis. It's not good for you. You guys should hold off on the marriage. We're all gonna have an opportunity to hash out whatever concerns we have. I'm actually gonna take Alexis' family and we're gonna do a little game called The Sour Truth. And it's basically gonna give you guys the opportunity to, you know, ask questions. And I'm gonna be with Danley's family and we're gonna cook some Haitian Caribbean food and you guys are gonna ask me questions and we're gonna just bond. It doesn't sound like she's too happy about this task. Cause she can't cook. All she do is eat chicken nuggets and french fries. <laughs> we'll be throwing all different types of questions yeah, at him. Exactly, you know, like right. who he is. And right. this is somebody that I even want to, my daughter to spend the rest of her life right. with. Do you know the person you're married? Do you really know them? I like this one. Uh oh. That's a good question. Hey, y'all. What's Hi. going on, man? You guys ready to play Tower Truth? So basically, you just got to pull the blocks out and Stack them up. Tower of truth. Yep. There we go. No dares, dog. Truth. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, guys. Today, what are we doing? Okay. Guys, teach me, because I need to learn. <laughs> Get a cutting board set up. We're going to make um, a Haitian dish called grill. I like it because I feel like it's simple. And I think he told me that you do like cabbage. Yes. I want to learn your culture and cook more Haitian dishes for you so you can have a sense of home. It's a bonding experience as well. I have to get pork. Steak. <sighs> OK, no. To stab the bag. Right, yeah, don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, not, no, like, no, not no, like no. Stab it, stab it. Have you discussed marriage with, your, with my parents? They, they honestly want me to be married. They feel that you should marry a Haitian girl. Because that's their Ideally, culture. They, they, that's, you know, what they want. That is their preference. But, yeah, that's yeah. their preference. But, but it's not your preference. No, it it's not mine at all. OK. Thank all right. you. Da, hala. How do I feel about being Christian? I have grown up my whole life Catholic. But it is all. a difference. Yeah. OK. They don't talk about being born again. 
They don't talk about Romans exactly. 10, 8, and 9. I look at religion like it's basically teaches you how to be a good person, but she's so detailed with it, like, oh no, it says this, 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 this. And I'm basically like, yeah, but the lesson in that is, you know. If there was a marital union there, and if Danley wasn't saved, the children would not be blessed. And that bothers me. You said that you delete a lot of your texts. Yes. Why do you do that? Yeah, you okay. Extra shady. The reason why I delete my text messages is because if some guys hit text me that I don't talk to, I don't want them to be like, so you talking to him? No, so I'm just going to delete my messages. Why can't you just say, like, I'm in a relationship? If women were texting him and he was going in the bathroom deleting the texts, wouldn't you be suspicious? I would bust down the door and right. punch exactly. him in the head. So yes. just, that's what I'm saying about taking how he feels into consideration. I do enough of what he tells me to do. I do enough of what he asks me to do. So certain things I'm just not going to conform to. I mean, it is what it is. What are we missing? Like, why is she acting this way? This is a time where you would try to put your best foot forward, or at least pretend. He knew that I was the one for him. He knew that he wasn't going to find nobody else like me, to be honest. I feel like I'm the best thing he ever had, and will have. I mean, should I think different, Chanel? I don't know, but you feel an extreme confidence. Do you so. not see anything wrong with your relationship? Daily, sometimes I feel he still kind of like thinks like a young boy. I think Daily needs to learn how to just maybe speak up more and be more manly and do things. So what does my, Alexis need to do? My boy is manly. Yeah, what do you feel like you need to work on? Mm. Who told you that you were Princess Diana? Like, yeah, yeah. like we, we are all the same. I'm not Princess Diana, but I'm Princess Sheba. Hmm. Yo, you hear yourself right now? That's not right. And how you gonna expect to walk in a family acting like this when we down to earth people? I'm gonna be honest with you. I see very narcissistic attitude. And I feel like if you don't see any of your faults, but you can see all of oh, his hey, faults, that's there's not a work. problem. He lets me be that way. He, he lets you? He right, lets he me. does. He definitely enables her. Why would I stop getting spoiled and treated like a diamond? What woman would stop that? Am I selfish with my time and money? Um, definitely not selfish with money and time. I mean, I just have a busy schedule. I work all night, and then from work, I go home, pull out the computer, then I'm doing the cybersecurity, like I'm taking online classes. Then I have a meal, then go to sleep, then rinse and repeat. Besides that, I'm always with her. Do you feel like you do get a break with do Alexis? Do I feel like I get a break? From Alexis? Honestly, no. I mean, it would be nice from time to time. So can you imagine yourself doing that for 30 years? <laughs> Not getting a break. <laughs> that's I mean, that, right, I mean, that's the point. That's what I'm trying to I say. I mean, I think she would stop going so crazy and being so on me if we were married. I think so too. I don't think so. Why, why, why would a ring and a piece of paper change that? Because you know, as time. I'm goes... asking him. Oh. Mm. I mean, I'm just saying that because she said that to me. Do I believe it? Yeah, somewhat. I smell a seasoning I don't like. I hope it's not rosemary. What is that seasoning? We have Sorry. thyme. OK. Well, that's what it is. It's the thyme. I don't I like thyme. Time. Excuse me, guys. They're waiting. Alexis. All right, so we're going to pray? Yeah, we Mom, are. Mom, would you like to say a prayer? I usually ask the Lord who he would like to, to pray. And we have Alexis, he said. What did I do, girl? The Lord said pray. Oh. Thank him for the food. Oh. God is great, God is good, and we thank him for our food. By his hands, we all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. In the name of Jesus, amen. Mmm. That's, that's feta cheese, right? Which is goat cheese, yeah. Ooh, I don't have some I don't of this. know. I'm surprised know. my granddaughter did. This is nice. So, Grandma, what did you get from the team building experience? You seem very genuine, and uh, if I find out you're not, I'm going to get my belt, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, how was your task? What did you have to do? It kind of went a little bit hostile and being protective over you. When we were jotting down like all the faults of the relationship. Mm -hmm. She said so many faults she about you. She said so many faults about you. You're still immature. You need to grow up. You need to find a man's voice so you could provide more and you could keep on spoiling her and you should be more about Alexis and not you. So I should be a so, butler, is what no, you're saying? No, I just want you to just be more about me and us as How a much more about you can I be? I mean. Just explain to me, how much more about you can I be? Just a little bit more. How? But sometimes how? you just how? lack. How do I make it more about you? Can I say something? 
A lot was said in the kitchen. I feel like you talk down to my cousin a lot. I feel like you're very disrespectful to my cousin. I really don't like that. And when I tried to address it, your response was, I'm a queen. That's what he called me. No, 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 but you're using it like I'm just supposed to do everything to make you happy in spite of myself. A relationship is 50-50. You know what she said? You give her that opportunity, you allow it. What do you mean, I give her the opportunity, I allow That's it? That's what she said. What is going on to make you lash out like this? And what is going on Nobody's to make you perfect? But, but you have to show that as well. You, you can say I'm a good person all day long, but if you truly don't act like a good person, are you a good person? My heart is right. <laughs> I just, I don't understand where that mindset comes from, and it's just validate the fact that she's self-centered. Danley does things that I don't like you. Like, he'll hang up with me, and I told him I don't like when you hang up with me. Think Why is he hanging up with you? Because he feels that, oh, we're probably going to get in an argument, so no. let me just hang up the phone. It's, we're in an argument, and you're about to get wild disrespectful, so let me you say it from yourself. I didn't even disrespectful. You're already But assuming. listen, I'm not assuming. You, Alexis, 95% of the time, you're, you're disrespectful. How do you know? Because I sit there, and he's right next to me, and I hear the phone calls. No, I'm not. I think you just hate criticism. I sure do. But you need to be criticized to grow. Mm, I don't think so. Yes, all right then. Mm. So everybody's making it up. I don't care what people think. Good morning, how, how are, are you? you? Okay. Excuse me. Oh Lord, Satan go in the name of Jesus. Take that, she about to put the devil out. Satan go in the name of Jesus right now, go. Get away. Somebody's moving, please keep still. Go in the name. Go. Be gone. Thank you so very much. You'll have peace. You'll have peace. <laughs> I was just praying, so if, if everybody wanted to know. So here we are, day two. Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you guys feeling? Well, you want to start? I mean. Uh, yeah, I could start. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like me and her family really connected, and I don't feel any type of nervousness like communicating with them anymore. Great. How'd your task go? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Danley, his best friend Chanel, he was just saying like, but you go through a cell phone, da da da, but you erase your text messages. It's about me. It's all about me. When they're questioning you, what's your tone? Aggressive. Why? Nice. I'm not used to people telling me things in my ear. Is that how she is with you? She kind of takes input from me, but I have to like drill it into her head and then still sometimes she'll forget. It's not forgetting, it's resisting. <laughs> Basically, I like to hear what I want to hear. And if it's things that I don't like, I'll just block it out and tune it out. Okay, but I thought you want the blessing. Maturity would be like, it doesn't matter um, how I feel right now. I need to honor my fiance's family so they know they are important. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see your partner going, uh huh, uh huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, you're definitely yeah. right because that's stuff right. that I said to her before. It's almost like sabotaging. Self sabotaging. Yeah, there's probably a reason. Let's mm -hmm. dig around. What do you guys argue about? Our insecurities, and when she does get mad, she kind of just stops listening. I just know? shut down, start yelling. I'm a lot like my grandmother, she can resist listening to things. If it's not her way, it's no way. But your grandmother's alone. Mm. You can't behave like alone people behave and be happy in a relationship. You're right. Why do you want to get married? Because I love Danley, and I know he'll be there for me. He literally goes above and beyond for me with whatever I want and whatever I need. So you shouldn't take advantage of that. You're right, and I've and... been taking advantage of you, and I honestly have been taking advantage of you because you're so nice to me. There's not a strong sense of us, a we. That's about me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. When I'm realizing, like, as we do these sessions with Tracy, I'm so focused on the things that I want to do, the things I have to do, and the things I want you to do for me, that I don't worry about the things that we need to do for us as a couple. What I want for you is to communicate with Danley's family that you understand what it is you're working on. I'm ready to grow up in all the ways I need to, to partner and not be in just in self, I want you to connect. Okay. That's for me. Can I have a piece, Chanel? Mm-hmm. That's perfection. Mm. Okay, see if you can slice that, all right? Nothing smells good as fried chicken. Mm. Come, girls, come and get this corn. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food we're about to see the nurses our body. Let me try to break some walls down and try to talk to them so they can kind of see who I am and then try to build that family bond with them. So today, I talked to Tracy about me being self-centered and spoiled, and I focus a lot on me and not Danny and I. It's all about me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. And I use that I'm an only child as a clutch to be able to get what I want, and I realized that wasn't right, so I want to change and work on that and focus on Dan Lee, my family, his side, and all become together. She says she's going to try to work on her ways. So that's progress. They have to put in that time and that effort to really make it work, and that's what I want to see. What I told Chanel earlier when we had our one-on-one -on -one is that, you know, if Danley doesn't get saved, then I can't marry him because I want a God-fearing man. But I said I'm going to believe what he told me, that he will get saved, because that means a lot to me. Being saved will make you trust him more and you stop looking at his cell phone. I would stop looking in, but, I mean... But... Actually, because do you want to look at my phone? I'm just going to ask you. Not, not look really. Him. If you do trust him and you know that your man is loyal and faithful to you, why do you need his password? Because I want it, because I should have it. Why? You have an attachment where you have to look at my phone and have to look at all of my stuff, never find anything, and you still are insecure. You're young. You're a young guy, OK? I have insecurities. Maybe it's because, like, how I grew up. Like, I've seen a lot of guys treat girls really bad. Automatically, I assume that if I'm not with him, he's cheating on me. I don't know. I just never in my life trusted a man. You know, Let them get too anything. much rope. That's when they get so comfortable. So what you're saying is... And that's when they can do something. If he want to cheat, you can have all the passwords in the world, and he will make that thing happen. Can, Trust me. He can still do it no matter what. So Think about how unfair that is to Danny. I don't, do so don't care. I don't care. Would you like for them to do that at your job? No. Right. You have something that a lot of people want, Alexis. You have a man that's a hard worker. I would they have That love you. That pretty much worships you. Loyal. Loyal. Like, appreciate it. I don't care. I still want your phone password. But you're not going to trust me regardless. Her whole move went back to the first yeah. freaking day. I'm telling you what I said. Yeah, yo, stop pointing at me I like that. I mean, we're talking about a simple cell phone, and she's like, flip a switch. And I think it's just like, is it really the phone, or is it just the concept of you not being able to have yeah, that control? Have that control. Whatever. Here you go with the controlling stuff again. And nothing gets solved. He doesn't do anything to hurt you. So now, all of a sudden, you trying to break things down over a phone. Yes, I am. Why does it mean so much to y'all? I'm trying to understand that. Why? Because if you're That's saying you trust upset. me, you it love me, matter. you believe me, matter. I treat you right. It so matter. why is this such an issue for you? Then? It is. It's okay. a control thing. I'm not listening to him. Danny could be by himself if he wants. Danny can switch all his passwords he wants. I'm going to switch all my passwords. No, We're going to keep them something. just like okay, that. But you shouldn't do it with anger. I, it's going to be anger, because Danny wants to do what he wants to do. Now she's getting angry. Oh, now she's getting angry. Did you know that selfish people should stay single? Maybe I should. That? OK. You're not about to be yelling at me like big and bad in your tub. It's not controlling. Let me, let me go change this and you can do whatever you want. Alexis, I think you pushed yourself a little too far. He can do and what he wants. that's just how it goes, Alexis. Just got to find out how to change all of them passwords. Don't let that get you all upset. No, it's not. But one thing I don't like when she does is she talks crazy in front of people. But she know if it wasn't around nobody, I would tell you about yourself. But right, right, right. don't do that in front of people. I'm going to be honest mm -hmm. with that. Still mentality of me, me, me. That's not going to work in this marriage. That's definitely a control thing. And the way she's talking and putting her hand in his face. It was good that you said, you're not going to talk to me like that. That was good. At least you said that. If, if him changing his password is her saying, well, I'm done with the relationship, yeah. and then you don't really care about him. That's right. Because that's a little thing. Right. Imagine something big. What's good, Tiff? Why are you crying? I, was, I don't like this. I don't like it either. But mean, at the end of the day, it's either you go trust me or you're not going to trust me. At this point, I think y'all need to hold off on this. Y'all yeah, really need to hold off on this because this is not. Yeah, it's only gonna get worse. She talked to him like he was a little kid, and you don't. The do same that. points that we pointed out earlier, and you yeah. say you were Everything gonna Everything about stop. me so Alexis. wrong. It's disrespectful. Whether you have his password or not, you still have to trust the man if you want to marry him. You can't do that. It's never gonna work. Obviously, I'm not changing overnight or a couple hours later. It takes time to change. You know, you have to understand yeah, that. Yeah, but you gotta Nobody's work. Perfect. It, Just like Dan's not getting saved right now. It takes time for him. It's gonna take time for me it. to do it. I'm gonna go check on okay, my boy. don't don't be don't don't be angry with him to the point where you, you you disrespect him. Don't do that. What do you think, bro? Like, 
you gonna go through with this after this outburst? I'm definitely on the like, fence now. She I, I'm a little more on one side of the fence than the other. I just think you need to put your foot down you gotta more. Put your foot down. I'm not feeling it with her right now, with the whole, I don't care. He can leave then. How long are you willing to deal with this before you feel like you need to maybe walk away or? Not much longer. She definitely has some, some issues that she needs to work out. It looks ugly. I don't like it. And I'm not going to deal with it. If you guys got married tomorrow, I would not be there. I'll tell mm, you that. Mm -mm. If she wants to leave and call this whole thing off, I'm more than fine with that, honestly. <laughs> Right now, Tiffany was saying that if we were to get married tomorrow, they wouldn't give us our, their blessing. I said, okay, I understand I that. It. That makes sense. I get it. I said, the plan is not to get married today, tomorrow, or the next month. It's within a year and a half. If I don't get a blessing, I can understand that, but it's about me and Daly at the end of the day. So I am going to do what Daly asked me to do, is get right on it with seeking counsel. But counseling. do you think you're ready to get married? Within the next year and a half, anything can happen. Yes, I but, am. But you're saying anything can happen, but not the yes, right thing. Yes, I am. Thing. Yes, I am. Yes. I don't think so. I supposed to change in two days. It's not you're supposed to change, but you're supposed to make a conscious effort to not do some of the things that you do. I mean, you don't have to. If you don't want to marry me within a year and a half, you don't have to. If you don't feel like it, just let me know. I don't think you're ready. Okay. Okay, so that's another conversation, okay? You don't care. I mean, I do care, but Is what else am I supposed to say that? Because you're so quick to be like, okay, I'm good. I just okay, okay. Call me single. Okay, I'll be single. So when we get back home, you're gonna see. Don't assume just because we're here. Well, how do you think you're gonna change back home if you can't change right now? What steps can I make to change right now? Um, but to tell you that the I will outburst, be outburst, the going crazy. I feel like you're portraying me to be like I'm some stalker type of girlfriend. I didn't I'm say not. you're some. You see what I mean? You're putting words in my mouth. I, I didn't, didn't say that you're a stalker. Me. I'm not doing anything to make you look like you're anything. You are literally doing this to yourself, and everybody is finally seeing it. I'm starting to feel like maybe everybody's right, and just showing your true colors. Maybe that's who you are. The way you are acting, mm -hmm. I honestly don't know. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day three. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? That's the better question. A, a work in progress. Okay. Let's talk first about how your task went. Well, my task was to connect deeper on a deeper level with Danley's family. Yes. And I thought I made progress, but then later on, I just felt like I retracted back into okay. like, no way. The fact that for, for whatever reason, she doesn't trust me. And basically, you know, she just blew up again. The same thing that she always does when she is in a tense situation and doesn't get her way. So that caused me to get up and walk away after telling her you're not gonna disrespect me like that in front of people. Honestly, it just kind of feels like it's a pattern. Okay. I just feel like it's a pattern that just keeps repeating itself. Would you say you got closer to getting the blessing? I'm gonna say no, but the one thing that I will say is that even if I don't get the blessings right now, I'm still gonna work on myself and look forward to the now and the future with Danley and for myself as well. Does that make you nervous? It makes me sad more than nervous because mm -hmm. I don't want to lose him. I don't. Okay. You want to tell him that? I don't want to lose you. I really don't. All right. You have to live those words, not yes. just say them. Right. I just have to show you because I do say it a lot of times, but I'm going to live by the words that I say and I'm going to change. Sometimes when people have a real breakthrough here, I know it because two things happen. One thing, I feel it because it's like a shift in energy that everyone in the room can perceive. The second thing that happens is that people cry. They don't cry because they're performing crying. They cry because they actually are opening and like letting it happen. Yes. And I'm not feeling either one of those things from you. Now, I see the two of you are in very different places this morning. I'm sensing something way more foundational happening inside of you. And you don't have to unpack it right now, but I'm sensing that. I understand that it can be scary sometimes to realize that you don't have control over this person who could really, really hurt you. Yes, that's true. But it's really a child's thinking to imagine that there's a world where you could control another person so much that you, could, you would never get hurt. That's not possible. Danley is a separate person. And that he's here because he chooses to be here. 
It's like you don't understand that. It is a long-term process of learning to relate to people that you love and the world in a different way. Because the thing is, is looking at Danley's phone and knowing his passwords, all it does is destroy the trust bond between the two of you. Mm -hmm. There is some serious work that needs to get done. And Danley, you have a part in this. Mm -hmm. You went along with it. Maybe in a strange way, I, well, not in a strange way, I just thought that she'd change. Well, as you move toward marriage, this stuff becomes unavoidable. But the good news is it's not coming here to punish you, it's coming here for resolution. All right, well, it's almost time for the blessing ceremony. You guys ready? Mm, I mean... Ready or not, I it's know. happening. I I'm not. Let's <laughs> do go. it. We just had our final meeting with Tracy. I feel like nothing changed. I feel like she's just gonna say what she feels is right, but not actually do it. She's definitely not ready for marriage. Thank you for coming and experiencing this last three days with us and putting out all of the issues that you guys had and giving us the opportunity to address them. With that being said, it's time to receive the blessings. We're gonna start with my family. Oka Shannon, do we have your blessing? With day one, I knew there were things that I, I know I wanted to learn about Danley. Making sure you two were best friends and making sure that the insecurities are resolved. Day two, I learned a different aspect of your relationship, the dynamics of it. The insecurities, um, that's a major thing. You can't say you're best friends and then you're, you're wondering what they're doing every minute of the hour. Because that's something that eventually just blow up right in your face. Now, do you get my blessings to go forward with this marriage? To be honest with you right now, I'd say no. Because just, there are things that you have to work on as a team. Thank you, Uncle Shannon. Grandmother. When I first came, I looked at things a little differently than I'm looking at it now. But as time went on, reality sets in. Whatever I said in the beginning is what I mean now. Without God being head of your life, it will never work. After seeing what I saw, I would have to say no. You have to learn to trust one another. You have to learn to respect one another. Thank you, Grandma. You I appreciate that. Thank you. Mommy, do you give us your blessing to get married? The first day here, Danley appeared to be sincere, and I was impressed by that. However, the second day at dinner, things came out that may be a problem with your relationship. Because of the insecurity that Alexis has, that negative energy can bounce off of one person to the other person, and then you both become insecure about whether or not you can trust and to be loyal and faithful to each other. So, uh, having said that... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But before that, honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't feel as though you're ready. You have a lot of growing up to do. You have a lot of issues that you have to take care of. I feel like you shouldn't even be engaged. Things came out that may be a problem with your relationship. So, uh, having said that... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't feel as though you're ready I'm not for ready, no. You're not, not ready right for marriage. No. Honestly, mm -hmm. I feel like you shouldn't even be engaged, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. You mm -hmm. have a lot of growing up to do. I feel as though I should take this back, honestly. I'm not breaking up with you. I have to take back some power. So what... what? Wait a minute. Oh. Where did that come from? I'm not breaking up with her, but she shouldn't be engaged. Rebel, what does the ring have to do with you? Why do you... If she's running around with the ring on her finger, it's almost like we're still engaged. She's not arguing. I have nothing more to say. Well, what, what is she supposed to say at that point? I mean, we get down to 11th hour of this process, and then you take the ring. Like, don't you think that's totally humiliating for her? I have to show her that I could, I could leave. We, we could end this relationship if you don't grow. That's taking a step back. That means, that means that you, you said, oh, you're not breaking up with her. Yes, you no, have. No, no, oh, but, but you together. have. We're still no, no, I like because you're honest. I like that. I'm really delighted that he stepped up and decided to be honest. There's a few maybe in shock or disappointed, but not grandma. It's not okay. They both just so came to, to make agreement. Sure that the ring is, is... They didn't both come to agreement. Yes. He just Hi, said, he said something. She didn't say anything. So it wasn't a mutual agreement. Hi. I'm stepping in here because I feel like 
Stanley made a decision. We, there's been a three-day process here. Mm -hmm. This is the outcome of the process. Mm -hmm. I get why you feel bad, but what I see here, to be very, very honest with you, is that this is a consequence of the relationship they created over the past three years. Taking the ring back is symbolizing, okay, this engagement is done, and now we're gonna have to find another engagement. I am just so shocked of how everything turned out. Going forward, I hope that Danny and Alexis grow individually and be who they're meant to be and be with who they're meant to be with. When Dan Lee took that ring off, I was just like, Jesus, I've been waiting on this moment for about two years and I'm extremely happy. There's an opportunity for some really deep healing here and some really big growth for both people, for everybody. I had to take that ring off her finger because that's a consequence. Doing it in front of her family was definitely difficult. I feel like even if we do get better and work out together, they're probably not gonna like me. I don't know how to react to this because, you know, Stanley pulled the fast one on me and something that I didn't know he was gonna do. I think the ball is in my court now, so we'll see what happens.